the affirmative action case against Harvard University just had a setback, as an appeals court clears Harvard of racial bias and admissions. This is a lawsuit that's been going on, I believe, since 2014. So it's been a consistent thing that Asian Americans have been alleging, or at least some groups of Asian Americans have been alleging, that Harvard University discriminates against them so they can have more diversity at their university which kind of rhymes, but I didn't mean that. So this is what the article says. A federal appeals court on Thursday upheld a ruling clearing Harvard University of discrimination against Asian American applicants. Two of the judges said, this is rejecting the claim from an anti-affirmative action group that accuses the Ivy League University of imposing a racial penalty on Asian Americans. I've talked about this lawsuit in a number of my other videos, so I don't want to go into too much depth here. However, in 2014, the students from Fair Admissions noted that even though Asian Americans had the best academic records of any race, they received the lowest scores on the personal rating. They further found that Harvard accepts Asian Americans at a lower rate than any other racial group, while giving preference to black and Hispanic students with lower grades. And they allege that Harvard is working to keep a consistent racial breakdown among new students, which the organization says amounts to illegal racial balancing. To sum all of that up, Asian American students who apply to Harvard tend to do the best academically. However, they get ranked lower than virtually any other race on personal ratings. That includes things like likability and honesty and things like that. Which just to kind of put the shoe on the other foot here, if African Americans were rated the lowest in likability, don't you think there would be calls of racism and racial injustice? Furthermore, Asian Americans are not as likely to get admitted even though they have better grades in many instances than their racial counterparts. So all of that, in my opinion, does show that Harvard is discriminating against Asian Americans. I don't think that race should play really any role when it comes to someone being accepted into a university. I just don't understand that. The Supreme Court, however, disagrees with me, or at least they did in the past. Harvard denies any discrimination and says it considers applicants' race only in the narrow way approved by the U.S. Supreme Court. In close calls between students, some underrepresented students may get a tip in their favor, school officials say, but students' race is never counted against them. So the Supreme Court has historically said that race can play a small role in admissions. Here Harvard is saying that race isn't a negative thing, but if an underrepresented student is doing well compared to an overrepresented student, that that underrepresented student may get a tip. Claiming that this tip doesn't count against the other race makes no sense at all. So suppose there's an Asian American student who does really well academically, and there is a minority student, let's say Hispanic or black, who does okay academically. That black student will get a tip that might get them admitted to the university at the expense of the Asian American student. So even though the Asian American student perhaps isn't being docked, as Harvard is claiming, they're not getting the tip, which is essentially the same thing. Their race is being counted against them. If they do not get that same tip because of their race, that is essentially a penalty on their race. One of the judges on the appeals court who denied this lawsuit said, Harvard's limited use of race in its admissions process in order to achieve diversity in the period in question is consistent with the requirements of Supreme Court precedent. And there is my issue. The judge is admitting that Harvard is discriminating based on race so they can have a more diverse racial makeup. They're saying it's okay to discriminate against someone who is overrepresenting as long as you can get underrepresented students into your university. And I don't agree with that. I mean, I just feel bad for the little Asian American kid who worked hard his entire life. And maybe his dream was to go to Harvard. But because of his race, he has a barrier that other races wouldn't have. And one of the judges ruled that other factors could explain why Asian Americans are admitted at lower rates than other students. Before we move on, I want to highlight that judge is saying that we need to consider other factors. Maybe it's not just a racial thing. Maybe Asian Americans aren't being accepted at higher rates because of reason X, for example. But in most other instances, you can't do that. According to people like Robin DiAngelo or Ibram Kendi, if there is a disparity between races, the reason must be because of racism. If you try and say it's not, if you try to say there may be other factors, you are just being racist. So here we have that Asian Americans may not be discriminated against even though there's a racial disparity, but if it's against other races, then it must be discrimination. You cannot have it both ways. Now, even though this is a setback for the group who brought this case forward, it is now moving one step closer to a possible review by the U.S. Supreme Court. And in the past, as we already talked about, the U.S. Supreme Court said that race could play some role in admissions. But I'm hoping that if it goes to the Supreme Court now, they're going to rescind that previous decision and remove that precedent. Because I don't like it. I think it's unconstitutional. They're essentially saying it's okay to discriminate against a race now to make up for discrimination in the past. And that's not really a good way to fix it at all. 
That just makes more discrimination in the present, not less in the past. And it may be a while before this goes to the Supreme Court. We don't really know if it even will. It'll probably be reviewed by the Supreme Court, but they may decide not to take the case at all. I hope they do, and I hope it gets to move forward because I agree with those who brought this case forward. It does seem to me, based on all the evidence that I've seen, that Harvard University is using race as a metric that they shouldn't be. They're saying that Asian Americans are less likely to get admitted because they have too many of them, even though they're outperforming every other race by far. But thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing. Don't forget to check out some of these other videos that maybe you've missed, and I'll see you next time.